What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today, pretty fun video, Samsung has updated the design of their GoodLock application, which as you guys know, if you watch my channel, is an app that we love here for customization. Before we get started, I wanna mention a couple of things. First of all, Best Buy is having a huge sale right now on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. You can get $1,200 off uh, if you trade in and also do instant activation. It's better than the Samsung deal. I'm gonna drop the link below if you wanna check it out. Also, all the wallpapers in this video, for my S22, for my Fold, and my S22 Ultra, the links will be in the description. So if you wanna check out the wallpapers, people always ask for the wallpapers, those links will be below. So what we're talking about today is the GoodLock application. So I actually haven't updated it yet on my regular S22, which is why I'm using this phone in this video as well. Um, this is what GoodLock used to look like on your Galaxy S22. Notice that it has all the different modules which you can download. Actually, I'm only using Theme Park on here because this one phone I don't use that often. I mainly use these two phones. Um, and at the bottom, it says unit and family, which isn't very descriptive. It doesn't really tell you like what's the difference between this set of apps and what's the difference between this set of apps. Also notice some of these apps don't have very good descriptions. They're very short and Theme Park doesn't even have a description at all. So if you are a new person trying to learn how to use this, it could be very confusing because it's not very well organized and the explanations aren't very good at all. Not to mention, GoodLock isn't even included in One UI on stock. You have to find it in the Galaxy Store. But anyway, Samsung today has redesigned, and let me show you the S22 Ultra Force first, and then I'll show you the fold layout. This is the new version of GoodLock that just rolled out today. You can see some pretty huge differences between them. First of all, you've got this nice, cool, colorful little GoodLock logo at the top, like with some trees and some fun stuff you know, cooler than just the text at the top there. Um, you can see the order here is different now, and they've actually changed the names at the bottom from unit and family to make up and life up. I still think it's kind of confusing, but basically make up is something that allows you to do customization, kind of like you apply makeup to your face, you know, like ladies apply makeup, etc. you know, you know, whatever, nose powder, I guess that's the idea, I think, that they came up with, versus Life Up is something that helps you use the Galaxy more for your daily life. So like things that make your life easier on a daily basis, like Noti Star to catch notifications, Sound Assistant to change the way your sound profiles work, Bixby Routines Plus, uh, Edge Touch, and One-Handed Operation, all of those things are included down there in Life Up. I personally think the names are a lot better but I still think they could be a little better as well. The other thing you'll notice is of course, obviously the apps have changed and moved around because the apps are now moved to the various categories that make the most sense between customization and uh, daily use. But also now all of the icons have some animations. You notice here how the theme park wheel is spinning. Now that was always the case on the old version, but now the theme park wheel spins and also all the other icons are animated. You guys can see right here. None of the icons were really animated in the old version, aside from Theme Park. You can see none of the other icons in the old version of GoodLock had these cool animations. So that's another change here in the layout. Now, the other thing that's changed as well is the descriptions have now been lengthened for a lot of the apps. So specifically, an app like Nice Catch, which people have a hard time understanding what that app does, they've made it a lot longer so you can kind of figure out what it does before you decide to go and download it. They've also replaced the singular download button, which is over here, um, with this button that says more. So if you tap on more, you now have the option to go to the Galaxy Store. I already have it installed, obviously. If you didn't have it installed, you'd have the option to install it. So now I have the option to uninstall it, add it to my home screen, or of course, you can see the about information as well. And of course, still here in the, double, the triple dots menu, you still have the same stuff as before, write a review, Good luck credit, which is basically the people who worked on it and contact us. So also you can see that the cards themselves have been made a little bit skinnier. They're not quite as fat as they were before, quite as wide. Um, the opacity is still pretty much the same as before. If you guys are wondering why these say unplugged, that's because I'm running the One UI 5.0 beta on my S22 Ultra and uh, those modules don't yet work with good luck. So overall, very cool. They redesigned, they gave it a huge facelift they say there's other new features. I'm not actually sure what the other new features are. I'll show you really quick in the Galaxy Store uh, what the overview of this app update actually says. So if we go into GoodLock here, the update says the following. 
it says, of course, that they redesigned the categories, as I just told you. And they also kind of added some new features and structural changes. So I think the new features may just be the way they have the menus laid out, because I haven't found any new modules or anything yet. But of course, I'll keep playing with it at the end of the day. Um, let me show you guys really quick how this looks on the foldables, because they also made this a more foldable friendly, you know, One UI Android 12L tablet slash phablet foldable friendly uh, app. So if you go into Good Lock now, I have the new version on the fold. It has the same kind of animations and layouts and stuff, but now you have this pullout menu on the side when you've got the fold unfolded like this, this little hamburger menu that you can actually pull out and change makeup to life up on the side and then go back. So this just looks a lot nicer. You know, it kind of takes advantage of all the screen real estate on the fold, which is kind of the idea of, of 4.1.1. Um, and I think it does a good job of that. Otherwise, everything else is the same. All of the descriptions, of course, you can see a little more of the description because the fold is a little bit wider than you can on the other devices. Um, and you can actually see if you fold it back, now it changes to having the two at the bottom, just like on the S22 Ultra. Anyway, I think it's really cool. A very cool overview of this uh, facelift for good luck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I got a lot more stuff coming. Again, if you guys want to pick up the uh, Z Fold 4, Best Buy has a great deal right now. That's probably even better than the Samsung deal at the moment. Um, you guys follow me on Twitter, the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.